what's going on y'all we just got back to the coast here back doing a little salt water high adventure and i'm out here on this pier and i look out into the water and check this out was not expecting to see this there's a gator in the brackish water just chilling just chilling was definitely not expecting to see that y'all like i'm out here like looking for crabs and wading around and stuff remind me to watch my step when we're out uh, throwing the cast net and everything and crabbing good grief Welcome back to another salty high adventure back out here on the beautiful South Carolina coast. We are right at low tide. In fact, the tide is starting to come back in. We have the crab pots ready to go. We're going to get these out and then we've still got a couple hours. We're just going to see what the day gives us. There's so much to do down here that it's just really hard to really pick one thing to do, honestly. I mean, you got crabbing, shrimping, shark fishing, red fishing, trout fishing, flounder fishing. You just kind of have to get down here, see what the day gives you, and fly by the seat of your pants, really. Caught this fresh last night during a live stream. If y'all haven't caught a live stream yet, you really need to try. We have some really fun, epic times on the old live streams. There we go. Ooh, this is good fresh bait right here. Good fresh bait. Stick that all down in there. Got the old pot ready with some fresh bait. Let's go. What are we sitting at? Eight feet right here. Here you can see got a little inlet right there. So hopefully as this water comes back in, those crabs skiddly doop back up into the inlets pretty quickly to find whatever's, you know, been out on dry land. Well, this water, is gonna run right past this pot with all the fresh bait and hopefully it'll drift back up into that inlet that scent and uh, the crabs will be like wait what's that and they'll come out to investigate so long pot good luck since we only have a limited amount of time getting the pot set is the first order of business because we can let them soak for a couple hours while we fish or do whatever the heck else we're gonna do and we can come back and check them see if we got anything for a little supper because uh, I actually didn't bring supper now that I think about it. <laughs> All right, we got a nice little channel here. It's like nine feet deep right down here, which it doesn't look like it, but surely enough, it is. I tell you, after seeing that gator, like guys, I'm, I kid you not, like I've, I've like waded around in the muck and stuff like that, like, looking for crabs and just different dinking around like i don't know if i'm gonna do that anymore <laughs> we might be done doing that kind of stuff if this doesn't get the crabs to skiddly dooting around i don't know what will good and fresh all right go right there boom that's good and deep what's the oh that's I tied two lines together. I was like, what the heck is that? And she's off. So I had to lengthen both ropes for my crab chaps because last time I was here, I actually almost lost a pot um, because when the guy that who sold me the crab pots um, or the, the bait shop, I should say, they didn't put long enough line. The guy gave me like 12 feet of line. It was like, that'll be good enough. Something just hit the surface right there. Um, and so I kind of just took his word for it. Well, last time I was out here, I lost one of my traps. Actually, I got really lucky. The tide got lower and I found the trap like 300 yards down like one of these arms uh, from where I had placed it. So I said, not again. So we lengthened the rope and uh, now we should be good there. Each rope I think is about 20 feet long, if I'm not mistaken. So should be good now. Got a little time here while the water's still low. Let's see if we can rustle up some shrimp or something. Hey, there's some more bait, there's some more bait. Ooh, a lot of good bait. There you go. 
There's some mullet right there. That's what we're after. There we go. A couple of decent sized shrimp right there. I mean, not jumbo, but we'll put them in the bait cooler. We got shrimp. We got, oh, oh well, there was one of our mullet. Got another little mullet right there. And they're small. Ha ha! Oh, well, there goes one crab. We got two crabs. Ha! Little blue crabs. Oh, there he goes. Well, we had two little blue crabs. That's like a triple play. Mullet, shrimp, crab. That's cool. That's just th this is what I'm talking about. Like, it's just so much fun. You just never know what you're gonna get. Like, and it, I swear it's different every time. I love the ocean. I love the salt water. More shrimp. More shrimp. Oh, looks like some nice shrimp in there too. These. Look at those. Oh, it's a nice size shrimp. That's eating size shrimp. So check out what I got going on down here. I actually just have this little bait bucket. Keeps everything fresh. Fresh. Oh, one just totally jumped out. That was a smaller one, fortunately. But I'm just dropping everything here and the fresh water just keeps rolling in. <laughs> Look at that. And a baby blue crab right there. It's a little male. That's not a keeper. <laughs> More shrimp. I'm really finding a lot of shrimp along this wall here. Come on, let go. Would you just let go? I, I'm sorry, there you can see. Nice, nice blue crab. That actually might be five inches across. We'll check. I tell you what, I'll make a deal with you. If you let go of my net, I'll let you go. How does that sound? Does that work? All right, I tell you, I'll set you in the water. There you go. You let go. Of there she goes. Sheesh. We must honor the code. We made a deal. Gotta keep up our end of the bargain. Check this out, guys. Another blue crab. I don't know why I'm putting pots in the water. I'm just catching blue crabs for days like this. Let's see if it's five inches here. Oh, that's easily five. Like five and a half. There you go. Our first keeper crab comes in the cast net. A nice male. That's sweet. We'll go ahead and throw it right in here. Put a little water in. Be good to go. Whoa, wait, what is that? Wait, we might've just caught a mantis shrimp, y'all. We might, we might've just caught, I ain't gonna pick it up, we'll put it that way. Somebody tell me, I, I need to look this up. Is this a mantis shrimp? Let's see if I can show you guys here. That guy right there, you see that? I've seen those things pop people and they like pack a punch. Oh, there you go, there's a little bit better look at it. What is that? Wait, is that just some sort of little crustacean? I don't trust it enough. I don't know enough to pick it up. We'll put it that way. It kind of looks like, I mean, that kind of looks like the shape of one, doesn't it? Look at that thing. I've never seen something like that before. There you go. One more look at it. Well, he just lost, you know, we're just going to toss him back in. Woo. But check out the shrimp we're getting. Look at these. Oh my gosh. Look at this big, that's the biggest white shrimp right there. Look at that thing. Good grief. That's a big one. I got, bird, I got a bird flying around me. He sees what's on the deck. We're getting some good white shrimp, y'all. We're getting some really good white shrimp right here. This is awesome. We're gonna keep throwing this cast net, see if we can get a nice little haul for supper. I see you, bird. Now, get it. These are mine. Go scavenge for something else. Boom! Here, here's a mullet. You want one? There he goes. There you go. <laughs> we got him. We took care of him. Take it. Another blue crab. I bet that's a keeper again. This dude's been in a scuff or a scrum. Whatever. Look at look at this claw. Let's see if I can grab it. Look at that. His one claw he does have missing part of it. Missing the other claw. You know what? I kind of feel bad for the fella. We might just drop him back in. He's had a tough go of it, bro. You go back. Got a few more. I'm getting at least like four or five. It seems like every cast. This is awesome. Guys, check this out. Look at these old pillars right in the middle of this 
canal. I say we gotta throw a line in around these. This looks very interesting. There we go. Get these guys back in the water. Guys, I'll have links in the description to a lot of this stuff that I'm using. Cast net, that fray ball bait holder. That's nice because especially like in this, the salt water is just continually flowing through it. And on a hot day, it's kind of perfect. Keeping my eye open for some sheep's head too. Just seeing if there are any sheep's head down there. I need some good fiddler crabs for that. What the heck was that? Is that a fish? I don't know. It felt weird. I almost felt like something was swimming around on the end of my lawn down there. Get a fresh one back down there. Y'all, there are mullet just absolutely flying out of the water over here. So we're going to get our little guy over here. I don't think they're jumping for no reason. I gotta think there's something down there chasing them, right? Let's find out. Got him. Right there. Man, right as that hit. Boom. I don't know what it is, but something hit it. Hit the live mullet. What do we got? Oh, we got a little redfish. That was awesome. Good grief. That little dude just choked it down. Man, right as that hit. There you go. That's a pretty little fish. Pretty like bronze colors on this little one. That's awesome. Got to be between, I think it's 15 and 23 inches to keep. Obviously, that's not a keeper. But hey, we caught one. Caught one on the live mullet. I wasn't ready for him to hit that fast, to be down right now, so it kind of surprised me. All of a sudden, the line started to tighten up. All right, y'all, it's been about three hours. It's time to go ahead and check the crab pots. Heading into the evening, it's like 5.30 in the evening. So we're gonna check the crab pots before we head on back to camp. Freshen up the bait, and I think we're just gonna leave them out overnight. Put the spot lock on. Put the shrimp back in. Ugh. No, come back here. Ow. Ugh. Ugh. Hey, hey. Uh, there we go. Let's see what we've got. Got anything? We got one. Okay. Three hours of soaking didn't do much. We got one little one. That's it. There you go. Hop on out. Well, I'm not going to leave it here. I don't like that. Just one. Let's go ahead and bring it with us. Let's see how the other one did. And if we got a lot of crabs around there, we'll drop this guy down over by the second pot. All right, let's check trap number two. Come on, need a little more luck in trap number two here. Nothing, dude, what? Not a thing. Well, that's shocking it is, just shocking. Man, really? Not a gun thing, huh? There you go, let's get rid of this. Let's freshen it up. I'm gonna set this in a different location. Set both of them in different locations. Then we'll let them soak overnight. Let's see what that does for us. If anything, hopefully it does something. All right, out of the main channel area. We'll just drop them down there. Steady as she goes. Let's see, where do we hit? Where's the bottom? Boom, bottom's right there. Still got about a good six feet of line. That really surprises me, y'all. One crab between two pots. I mean, maybe it just got really unlucky, but that doesn't seem right. I know that bait's fresh. I've, I, 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 I caught those striper less than 24 hours ago, and I've kept them on ice, those carcasses on ice the whole time, so it can't be the bait. High tide's about two hours away, so let's go ahead and get on back, and let's get some supper. I'm hungry. Boat maintenance before all else, y'all. Especially in this salt water. This salt water just eat your boat up. So check this out. Got my shrimp on ice. Look at that. 
That's a nice bit of shrimp right there. We got some nice ones in there. That's a, uh, it's not a bad Ziploc bag full. Oh, would you look at that? That looks phenomenal. So, the original plan was to eat what I caught today. However, really all we caught was a nice little bag of shrimp and a single crab. And that wasn't going to be enough. So, I mean, what we're going to do is we're going to head back out tomorrow. Hope that we'll have some crabs in the crab pots. Do a little more shrimping, do some fishing, and see if we can kind of add to our meal and try to put together a nice big salt water meal, ocean fresh meal. Got walk into a big old spider web right there. Jeepers. <laughs> you heard me scream out like a little girl. Look at that thing. About face planted right into that. Shoof. Welcome to the bath house. Ah, living that beach life. Mm. I think this is legit the first time I've ever eaten food in the shower. I don't know how I feel about this to be downright honest with you. This pizza's good though. Mm. Welcome home once again Home in the bed of my truck got our air mattress and all our bedding ready to go got our pizza living the life of kings Not only are we eating pizza in the shower But we're also eating it in bed too. Huh. Let me tell y'all a ghost story No, I've got a ghost story maybe next time I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good morning, YouTube fam. We got us some what my bro Ace, me ancient, and I have dubbed fisherman's pancakes. Mm. Now those Keebler elves know how to make a cookie. Before we hit the water this morning, we are going to make a little stop for some bait. See if we can catch some fresh bait for ourselves. Here we go. Got our net, got our bucket, foraging our way through the undergrowth ah, to a little fiddler crab sanctuary. Oh, I see, they're running around all over the place out here. Fiddler crab is apparently phenomenal bait for sheep's head and pretty much everything. So we're gonna try to get us a good mess of fiddler crab. Now let's see, I've seen this done before. Somebody usually takes a stick and they're, they're, ho they're just all over out here. All their little holes. Let's see, let's find one that's kind of half out. Here are a couple over here. Ah, here's one without a home, looks like. Got him. Ah, there's another one. Into the bucket. There's one halfway out of his hole. There you go. Got the stick down so he can't go out. Boom, there's another one. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm getting the hang of this now. I'm getting the hang of this. There's 10. All right, y'all, we have some fiddler crabs now. Check it out. We've got about, I think about 22 in there by my count. Let me pull one out here. This is my first time ever catching fiddler crabs, but these are crazy little looking crabs. I mean, look at that big old claw on that thing. That's as big as his body, but really cool. Really cool little crabbies. And I know they get bigger than that, but like I said, we got about 22 in there by my count. So 
that should be enough to get us started at least give it a try for the afternoon put the lid on those guys they won't climb out but give them a little shade at the very least we're about three hours from low tide so we're doing great let's go see if our big pots have big crabs in them we got our little crabs let's go find some big crabs hopefully Come on, baby, be good to me. Be good to me. Ugh. What do we got, what do we got? Man, nothing, we got two. Well, we got three technically, but we got not a lot. Dead gum. Oh, check this out, we got a little, uh, got a little stone crab. Somebody looks like has harvested that claw. I don't know, that claw didn't look like it'd have been two and three quarter inches. You have a blue right here. That's pretty small though. We'll throw him back. This is a little bit bigger. This is one of those, I forget what they call them, but it's like, he hasn't quite molted yet. But they say the ones that are like crusty like this. Um, uh, it's, uh, in my last video, I had people commenting what it is. Now, I, of course I can't remember now. Let's see, I'll keep this one because they said when they're crusty and not beautiful looking, they're typically full of meat. I can't even keep that one in five inches, so, man. That's disappointing right there. That's really disappointing. I don't know what's going on, y'all. Any more luck here? There we go. Come on. Come on, this is the deeper pot. Maybe they're out deeper? Wait, I see something. Whoa, I got, whoa, I got three big stone crabs. And they've all, oh, this one's been harvested, but two of them haven't. Woo, hey, there we go, there we go. I'll take that. Maybe we just need to drop a little deeper. Maybe that's all it is. Get a couple nice claws out of this. Check these guys out. There's some big ones. Come on out, everybody. You too, you too. Hey, just let go, would you? Oh, jeepers, this guy is a feisty one. Holy cow, oh man, look at the size of that one. All right, so check this out, check this out. This one obviously has a, look, look at the size of those claws. You see this guy? He's missing a claw, so somebody's caught him before and harvested a claw. He's actually got to go back. We'll toss him right back in. But look at these two, holy jumbo. I mean, this, the claw's right here on this thing. Woo -hoo -hoo! Look at that. Big creep. We just get to pick the size we want, really. Oh, man. There's a male. Look at that big old claw. Oh, that's gonna taste good. In that one claw alone, there's probably an, as much meat as there are in three, three to four blue crabs, depending on the size. Sweet, and then this guy, this guy's a prize right here. Look at this one, we got fortunate. Look at that. Oh man, look at that claw. That is jumbo. That is amazing right there. That is awesome. All right. That claw right there is obviously the biggest one. So what you do is you hold both claws, then you just move down, and boom. There's one claw for us. He gets to go free. He'll grow his claw back. Same with this guy. That's definitely the biggest one right there. Hold both claws. I just make a down sweeping motion. Boom, just like that. And you get to go free, my man. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that. Good knit. All right, we're gonna get these on ice. We're gonna get these pots back down here and see if we can get some more stone crab this afternoon. 
while we do our fishing and such. Got that on ice. Let's grab a drink. I'm thirsty. Got to stay hydrated out in this heat. I'm not going to lie, y'all. Kind of disappointed with uh, the, just the amount of crab that we got. I mean, just hardly anything. But those two stone crabs, that made up for it. That's for sure. I think we're going to see if we can get us a few more shrimp next. Holy cow, I just hit the mother load of bait. I just hit the mother load. <laughs> Look at this, it's got bait on the deck. Watch this. Woo! Holy cow. I found the mullet. <laughs> oh, hey, look at this, look at this. I got a baby flounder too. Ah! Oh, man, uh, come here. <laughs> Check that out. Baby flounder. Little baby flounder. Oh, oh, there he goes. Hey, that was easy. Well, with one throw, we got plenty of bait for the afternoon. <laughs> All right, it is time to do, look at them, they're all just like circling. Do a little fishing with, ah, I don't want to get pinched either. They're herding together in there, they know what's up. They're like, safety in numbers. There, got one. Hopefully I'll be saying that about the fish. I could not find any sweeper jigs, so we're improvising here. Actually, I found some online, but they weren't going to get here in time. So, we are going to hook it through the bottom and through the top, just like that. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Little fiddler crab, fiddler crab on the roof here. All right, you know I had to say it. Okay. <laughs> We're done. Got some old pilings here. Fish low and slow. We've also got a few other places we could try these guys. They look pretty good in the water. Little little legs all flailing about. Drop them right down. Water's pretty dingy, so you know it's kind of difficult. I can't like look down. I don't see any um, sheep's head. So just kind of hoping we bump into something here. Check this out up here, y'all. See all this debris right here? First off, phenomenal structure. But I actually talked to the owner. He was out here working, older gentleman. And uh, people would come and beach their boats up and there is a um, pond on the other side. And people come and fish his pond. Well, it's private property. Um, so uh, he's last year he told me he's gonna put something out here to keep the boats from being able to anchor up. And it looks like he's done it. Uh, but those look, I mean, that looks like pretty solid cover right there. That'd be awesome, actually. That'd be really awesome to fish. Try working this little crab around some of the structure. I think I just got, oh, I got one, got one. Oh, dang it, I missed one. Dude, I missed one right down here, guys. I just missed one. I don't know what it was, but we missed one. That was on the fiddler crab. Oh, that was exciting. My first bite on a fiddler crab. I mean, every, anything will eat the fiddler crab. You get trout eat it, um, the redfish will eat a fiddler crab, but I know it's the preferred bait of sheep's head. This dude just lost his claw, but we'll try it anyway. There's a bite. Something's got it, something's got it. Got him, got him. What do we get? What do we get? Oh, <laughs> a little, a little redfish. Huh. They'll eat it too. What was I telling you? Man, I was hoping we had our first sheep's head. I've never caught a sheep's head before, y'all. Get out of here, stinker. I want my sheep's head, man. There's a bite. Oh, just broke my line. What? That is that a sheep's head? That's got right? I mean, gotta be, right? Just just totally took it and busted the line. Dad gum. Alright, here we go. We've, we've retied up. It's definitely not pinfish. Pinfish aren't breaking my eight pound test line. I kind of have a hard time believing. Oh, there's one. Got him. Holy cow. We got him. There we go. Well, he's running. What do we got? Another redfish. Dang it. Is that all it is? Just redfish? Just a bunch of redfish hanging out down there? Man, I mean, pretty fish. Fun fight. Not what I'm after. 
Oh, hard time believing that's what broke my line. Let's throw it in once or twice more. And then we'll move to some different structure along this bank. Got him. Oh no, there it is. There, there, look at that, look at that. That is. Hey, we caught one. They are down there. All right. Hey, I was right. There are sheep's head down there. This guy's quite small. But this is a first. High adventure videos making history. Uh, uh, let me just, I'm a gentle step, gentle step. They are down there. Hey, unfortunately we're starting to run out of crab, but we caught our first little sheep's head. That's awesome. You know what, there's a, let me look up the rules and regs on these guys. I mean, that's quite small, but we did it. By golly, we did it. All right. I just looked it up. They got to be 14 inches. This guy's, I'm going to go seven inches. Uh, now he's like eight and a half. But there are sheep's head down there. I was like, man, you can't tell me all those are redfish. Especially when we got busted off. These boogers are hard to catch. Unfortunately, I'm down to five crabs. We're just going to keep popping this area. There's a good little, there's a good little something down there that we're fishing. And I'm sure there are more down there. My theory was right. I almost gave up on this spot. I was like, maybe there's just a bunch of redfish down there. There are redfish, but there are sheep's head as well. Tide's starting to come back in. My boat can't decide where it wants to go right now. I can feel the structure down there. Got him. Got him. Oh, big sheep's head. Big sheep's head. Big sheep's head. Oh, baby, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, yes! Just vanquished! Ah! Got him! Look at that! That is what I'm talking about with the bait running low. We did it. Hook just popped right out. Y'all check this out, check this out. Well, this is what I did. I actually moved the sinker a little bit away from the hook. I think having it right directly over the hook was just killing me. Just killing me for hookup ratios. But check check this mouth out. Check this mouth out. This is why these guys are so difficult to catch. Look at that. It's like they got like horse teeth in there. Isn't that crazy? And they're like, it's like a layer of it. It's not just on the outside of the lips. Oh, that's gonna be close to 14. If it's 14 inches, oh, I'm gonna be so excited. Oh, let's see if it's 14. I'm gonna say it is. That was such a light by uh, my lot rod. Whoa, whoa. My rod literally, it's just, it was just like, bip, 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 and then I just felt the weight and it was kind of just doing that and then popped it. That was so light. That was so light. Come on, baby. Come on, be good to me. Be good to me. What do we got? What do we got? Oh yeah, dude, it's almost 15. We've got a keeper. <laughs> yes, we get to eat some sheep's head. <laughs> I am so excited. Okay, let's get our cooler. Let's get a little live well up and running here. Let's get this emptied out. Here, you stay up here. Oh, the crab was running low, but we stayed the course. Let's see, I think I've got, how many more crabs do I have here? I got, I got three left. So it took 19 crabs to finally get a keeper. <laughs> Let's move out of this spot. We'll see if there are any more down there. Get some live well action going. Let's drop our pump overboard. There we go. Some fresh salt water. Woo! Put a live well for him. Here you go, buddy. This fish, I'm just so excited for this fish right here. Like, been a little disappointed in how the crab pots have turned out. And we were able to come out, get this sheep's head, our first ever keeper sheep's head. I knew it was gonna be a challenge. I knew it was gonna be a challenge talking with people and just like watching other people online and stuff like that. Just, uh, I knew it was gonna be a difficult thing to do but we did it. I want to give a big shout out to the 19 Fiddler Crabs that it took to get to this point. They really deserve all the credit. Big props to them. There we go. All right, he's took care of. Let's see if we can do any more damage with the last three crabs. 
Maybe we'll get lucky. Guys, I see a bunch of fiddler crabs up here. We might hop out and see if we can get, get some more bait. Oh my gosh, yeah, there are tons of them on the bank here. Oh, maybe we can get some more bait. Let's give it a go. I don't see any holes either. It's like, they're just down here. Come on. Which one am I doing? Just, just grab one. There's one. Who else? Who else? This guy right here. Here you. More bait. There you go. Right in. No, 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 no. Right in there. There we go. Hey, there's three. Check this out, y'all. Look at this. I've got like another 15, 16 crabs in there. Hey, we're back in business. We're fishing with house money now. We're fishing with house money. See if we can make it pay off. Oh, I got it. Right there. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, another big sheep's head. He just lowered, I didn't even know he was on, y'all. I, I just lifted up. I didn't even feel the bite. Come on, come on. Oh yeah, another good one. Yes, yes. Boom. That's a little bit smaller than the last one. We'll see if, see if she goes 14. Look at that. Fishing with house money. Gets us another one. You can't lip this guy. Look at that. I got him like right in the top. On the other side of the teeth. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close to 14 right there. Got some poo hanging out. There you go, I'll help you out. I don't do that for just every fish. That one is, this one's 13. That's a 13 incer. So she's gotta go back in, but still, man, that is such an ultra, ultra light bite. Beautiful fish. Man, when those spines are out, that is super cool looking. There she goes. She'll be, well, okay. Of course, she just kind of flopped down there. There she is, here, come back. Let me make sure you're hunky down. I literally just hooked you in the top of the lip, you goober. You were out of the water for maybe 30 seconds. We'll help you out, though. There you go, I see some fins moving. I see some fins moving. Good, there you go. Oh, man, we were an inch short. Just an inch short. Story of my life. I'm pretty sure my line was just swimming to the side. Sure looked like it. It's amazing that I am literally just sitting here right over top. I'm in about seven feet of water. Tide's coming in. In fact, the, the water's up good foot since we got here. And uh, But I'm just sitting literally right on top of them. And catching them. It's not like I'm fishing, you know... 10, 15, 20 feet down. I mean, they're they're six feet below the boat. That's kind of just, I don't know, that's just kind of crazy to me that they're not spooked. Down she goes. There's a hit. Got it. Oh, cheapers, that's another redfish. Holy cow, don't break my line. I don't know. He'd be banging redfish the whole time. We should go back. Oh, hey, he left the crab on. Dude, what? That's lucky. I don't know how. That crab is still on. Let's go double or nothing with the crab right here. Double or nothing. Let's try right between this area. Oh, feeling the tree is what I'm feeling apparently. Oh, no, he's still on there. Come on. Right down there. Right down there. Right in the bangs out. Come on. There he is. Got him. Oh, I got a crab. What? What? <laughs> Okay, that's a first. Are you kidding me? Okay, I mean, what are the odds? I hooked him in the leg. Okay, oh, there we go, it is off. I don't know if it's gonna be four inches, but we'll measure him. Could add him to the medley of food if he's four, I don't think, or five, I mean five. Oh, Lord of mercy, he's five. That's a five inch blue crab. <laughs> We caught a crab with the crab, ladies and gentlemen. This day is weird, but I'll take it. You go in there. Oh, but I still got my crab on there. Wait, what? No way. Okay. Oh, we're gonna go triple or nothing. Triple or nothing. Same crab. Go down there. That was one lucky little crab. If we catch a sheep's head on this, that's a grand salami. There's a hit, there's a hit. Come on. Come on, that might be a sheep's head hit too. Got him. 
No, no, that's going to be a redfish. Holy jeepers. Holy cow. Maybe this is a good redfish. Holy cow. Holy cow. Good night of living. Whoa, we got something solid here, I think, ladies and gentlemen. Good grief. That was just a small bite, too. It's got to be a redfish. Guys, getting it on this toadfish rod and reel setup, go to the description below. This is the travel rod set. Get yourself hooked up with this. It's awesome. This is a weighty fish, y'all. This is a weighty fish, and I'm trying to make sure she doesn't run towards the shore. Is this a slot red? Oh, this might be a slot red right here. Oh my heavens. Come here. Yes! Oh my gosh, I guarantee you that's a keeper. That is gonna be a keeper red right there. They gotta be between 15 and 23. I'll bet that thing 16, 17 inches. Look at that. Ah what? Look at those fiddler crabs, man. And that one little crab, man. That one little crab held his own through three fish. No, I'm sorry. Two fish and a crab. That is a slot red. Y'all, I love this toadfish rod reel setup. Like I said, discount link as well if you order something. Here we go, moment of truth. I'm gonna go like 17. That, no, nah, you're bigger than that. That is... That is, it's a keeper, almost a 20 incher. And more importantly, that's some more food. What? Boom! <laughs> Got him. Drop it right down in there. Oh my word. Slot redfish, blue crab, sheep's head, stone crab, shrimp. Good night of living. What a day. We are having a day. We are having a day here at Higher Venture Videos. Good grief. And it's all on credit. It's all on these little fiddler crab credit right here. Glad we decided to get more bait. Oh man. That was probably a redfish. Got him. Got him. Come on. This might be, this might be a sheep's head, the way it's fighting. It's kind of giving just thumps. I gotta get out of all this though. Oh yeah, it's a sheep's head. Ha <laughs> ha! I thought there'd be a sheep's head down there. Sure enough. Oh, that's gonna be another close one to keep her size. I'm trying to get away. This wind is just killing me. Where's my net? There's my net. It's gonna be another close to 14 inch, I'm thinking. Oh yeah. Come here, baby. Yes! Oh, I'll bet that's a keeper. I'll bet that's a keeper. Boom! Big crab, big sheep's head. Look where I hooked that. Look at that. Right in the top of the lip. That is an ugly looking mouth right there. Woo! Oh man, we're rocking now. <sighs> Look at that. Yes! All right. Moment of truth. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a. Uh, Dang, that might be bigger than my first one. That's 15, a little over 15 inches. So that's a keeper right there. One for the live well. I should say another one for the live well. Oh my word, like, I wanna see the first one. What the first one look like? There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Whoo! Good knit. That is amazing. <laughs> awesome. Yes, what a day. This is insane. This is incredible. <laughs> Man, what an afternoon. And we still get to go check our crab pots too. In fact, we're gonna go do that right now. I've pulled up the shrimp. We have actually used all of our crabs. And I mean, I, I was still missing fish. Like I was still dropping it down and getting boo boo boo. And then boom, in fact, I broke my line on the last one. And that's when I decided, you know what? It's getting late in the afternoon. The tide's way up now. I mean, it's been coming in for, I don't know, probably at least two, three hours. I don't even, I don't even know what time it is, but we're starting to head towards supper time. So let's go check some pots and see if we get anything else. They've been soaking for a good five hours or so now, at least. Our first ever soiree, if you will, into sheep's head fishing. 
absolutely phenomenal. I think mean, two keepers cut four total. I'm really excited to see how these taste too because I've heard great things about sheep's head. Coming up on pot number one. Want some more of them stone crab is what I want. Come on. I got a stone crab on top. <laughs> okay, well, there you go. Stone crab, but somebody's taking his claw. Wonder if that was the one we caught earlier. Could have been. Man, nothing though. Nothing in the pots. Bring her in and try something different next time. There's one. All right, let's skiddly doot to the next pot. Pot number two. Come on, pot number two. Be good to me. Even just one? Just a little bitty one? Oh man, that is empty. Good knit. Y'all, if you watched my last video, I was hauling crab and slapping it but good. Not a bloody thing. Huh. Well, I'm glad I got those two stone crab at the very least. I'm glad we checked them. Let's go ahead and get on back to camp. We got plenty to eat, that's for sure. We have done well today overall. And quite honestly, I'd rather have sheep's head and redfish than those blue crab. This is me getting water from the shower. That'll do, pig. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get these crabs boiled up, or, okay, my crab and claws, uh, so then that way they can sit and simmer in the seasoning. There she goes, flame of Odin. All right. What do we got, what do we got, what do we got? We got all kinds of stuff. You know, oh, here we go, Old Bay. Throw a load of that in, a pant load of that in, actually. You know, I'm gonna throw some Cajun seasoning in there as well. This is actually sea salt, so perfect. Since the crabs came from the sea. See what I did there? Oh my, there was a lot of wordplay there. Got some lemon juice as well that's gonna go down. There we go. All right, bring that to a boil. All right, let's get our crab out here. Let's find him first. Where'd my crab go? Hey, hey, you. I'm trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. I brought tongs to this fight, boy. There you are, ha ha. No, 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 Yeah. Hey, there we go. All right, check that out. Got water to roll and boil. Drop them right in. Damn. Dead, just like that. All right, let's go grab the stone crab claws as well. That, uh, like there's more meat in probably one of these claws, in this claw right here, than there is an entire, that entire blue crab. So, go ahead and just drop those in as well. Sweet. All right, get that boiling first. Here we go. All right, fresh sheep's head. He's been on ice for like the last hour, so he's dead. But we're gonna go ahead and get this guy filleted up. I think we're gonna fillet it. I mean, I fillet brim and stuff. Kind of got a similar body to a brim. So I think we could fillet it. I guess we'll try it out. So far so good, it seems like. Oh man, there's a big old slab of meat on that thing. Eww. Oh man, look at that. Fillet level in RuneScape terms just went up about four or five right there, ladies and gentlemen. No doubt in my mind. All right, let's just take this right off. Oh man, look at that. That's a nice looking filet right there. I can live with that. Let's get the other side done. All right, look at that. That's the smaller sheep's head too. So two nice filets. Got some fresh crab bait. Maybe this will make a difference. Maybe this will get us some crab in the next video. I don't know, because that striper, well, I can't knock the striper too much. It did get us two really nice stone crabs. Next, we'll get this redfish cleaned up as well. Now I've had redfish before and this, this right here, this is delightful. All right, y'all, it's time to cook up some fish. Got that. 
got a little oil. Check these guys out right here. Check this crab out. Look at that. Those have been soaking for about 25, 30 minutes now in that juice. I still can't get over the size of that claw, y'all. Like both those claws. That's phenomenal. I'm gonna go ahead, drop this guy in just like that. Actually, you know, we're gonna just do both pieces. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. Looks like our first fish is done. Oh yeah, that's real flaky. Whew, that's falling apart flaky. Set him off to the side here. I think what we're gonna go ahead and do with our sheep's head is we're gonna use some of that Shields Southern style seafood seasoning, throwing a little parsley on there. But we're just gonna dab this. I feel like it's appropriate. It's got a little bite to it. Here we go, sheep's head for the first time. That one right there. Okay. Make sure that oil gets under him. Got to try a little piece of this red fish here since it's kind of flaking apart. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Alright, there we go. We got our fish off, which, okay, I'm not gonna lie, didn't come off like the most appetizing. But you know what? Whatever. What we're gonna do now, we haven't forgotten about our shrimp. So we're gonna put this back on, bring it to a boil, and pull our crab claws out, plate those up. Look at that. We didn't do bad on the shrimp at all. And I was, I, I tried to stay a little bit picky as far as size goes. Not gonna get massive white shrimp, but we got some decent ones. Yeah, we'll just, I guess, just drop them right in. Bombs away. And these won't take long, just, just a few minutes cooking them up in that crab boil that we had in there. And that's the last remaining piece of this puzzle. Ooh, look at that right there. Three and a half minutes. That's all I did. Just ladle that right on. Here we go. Of course, didn't forget a little butter this has a uh, old bay and parsley in it as well so that's why it kind of looks burnt but it's just all the seasoning in there look at that you know the fish came off a little flaky so it kind of came off in chunks but it looks delicious we're gonna stop looking at it and eat it i'll say a quick prayer thank the lord for our day keep it a safety the last two days on the water Oh my gosh. We gotta start with that right there. I think that that is only fitting. He just dominates the plate, really. Dude, this claw is so big. Like, my, my, it's not even, it's not even fitting around. Guys, I can't get this thing open. I am legit like wrestling with this claw right now. There we go, good. This claw is super thick. Ah. Mmm. The claw is just crammed. Crammed full of meat. I'm just digging it out right now. That stone crab is really good. Mmm. I think we gotta go for the sheep's head. Like, just feels right. First ever sheep's head for me. I mean, it smells delicious. Oh my goodness. That. That's delicious. I mean, almost all ocean fish, they're just bomb. We gotta get a little of this redfish too. But that sheet head's legit. I mean, I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. Fresh fish, shrimp, crab, and everything tastes amazing. I mean, well, there's a bone. I have to deduct a level off of my RuneScape cooking. I wonder what I'm sitting on here as far as like cost goes. We got two stone crab claws. We got little blue crab. We got sheep's head fillets, redfish fillets, pile of shrimp. I mean, I don't know. I've got to imagine this has to be a, I don't know, $30 plate, would you say, at a restaurant? I would say at least 30 bucks, maybe 40, 45. I don't know. I don't know. It's seafood and seafood ain't cheap. 
I can tell you that. It's gonna take me a minute to work through all this food, but I guarantee you, we're gonna work through all of it. Sitting here right now. Mm. YouTube fam, what an awesome last couple of days down here on the coast. I think the coolest thing for me was going and catching my own bait and then catching sheep's head for the very first time having never caught sheep's head before. I knew it was gonna be a challenge, but we met it and like, that was just a lot of fun. I, I don't know, out of all the stuff we did, that probably takes the cake for me the last two days. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me the last 24 hours. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and all the recipes. And as always, I will see you in the next one.